Hello everyone. Hope you all doing well and welcome back to our Windows Server 2022 beginners video series on MSFT webcast. In this video, we will add a new Windows Server 2022 domain controller and an existing Active Directory domain. After you have deployed the first domain controller in your ADDS forest, you can add additional domain controllers to provide for resilience and improved performance. The process for deploying additional domain controller is broadly the same as that for the first domain controller. Install the ADDS server role and then promote the domain controller. Every Active Directory domain should have a minimum of two domain controllers. Let's take a look at VMs which we are going to use in this video. This is our primary domain controller for msftwebcast.com domain which we have deployed in the last video. IP address assigned on this server is 172.1872.50. The host name of this server is ws2022-dc01. This is our second Windows Server 2022 VM. We have assigned IP address 172.18.72.51 to this server with 172.18.72.50 as a preferred DNS server address. The server's host name is ws2022-dc02. Right click on Start menu and select Windows PowerShell. Type command ping msftwebcast.com and press enter key. Here msftwebcast.com is our local Active Directory domain name. We can see we have ping to msftwebcast.com domain name but we are getting reply back from the IP address 172.18.72.50. We can confirm that our server 2022 is able to resolve the DNS name to IP address and also able to communicate with our local domain controller. To add a new domain controller in an existing domain, you have to sign in as a domain administrator and then complete the procedure if your server is already joined to Active Directory domain. To install Active Directory domain services on your local server, you have to sign in as a local administrator. In the first step, you have to install the Active Directory Domain Services server role. Launch Server Manager, click on Manage and select Add Roles and Features. Click on Next on Before You Begin page. Ensure that the default of role base or feature base installation is selected. Then click Next. Select your local server from the list. Click Next. The Select Server Role page enables you to select the roles you want to install on your server. Select Active Directory Domain Services. On a dialog box asking to install features that are required for ADDS, click Add Feature to accept the installation of these features. Then click Next. On the Select Features page, select any additional server features you want to install on this server and then click Next. The Active Directory Domain Services page provides you with the information and items to note about ADDS. Read the information provided. When finished, click Next. Note the information provided on the Confirm Installation Selection page and then click Install to begin installing Active Directory Domain Services. The wizard displays an installation progress page that charts the progress of installation. After a few seconds, it displays the page that informs you that the ADDS rule has been installed successfully. The first step to install Active Directory Domain Services on this server is completed. In the second step, we will add this server as an additional domain controller in our existing Active Directory domain name msftwebcast.com. To proceed with installing a domain controller, click the link labeled Promote this server to a domain controller. After you click Promote this server to a domain controller, 
the Active Directory Domain Services Configuration Wizard starts with the Deployment Configuration page. Select the Add a Domain Controller to an existing domain option, which is selected by default. Since the server is not joined to the existing domain, you will need to click the Change button to enter in Domain Administrator's credential. Click on Change. Type in Domain Administrator's username, which is administrator at msftwebcast.com. Now type Administrator's password and click on OK. Since we have a single domain, AD Forest, the domain name will be filled automatically. If you have multiple domains in your forest, click on Select and choose the domain for which you want to add a new domain controller. In our case, MSFT Webcast is the name of our existing domain. Select it and click on OK. Make sure you have selected the right domain for which you want to add additional domain controller. Click Next to continue. On the Domain Controllers Options page, options to make this DC a DNS server and a global catalog are selected by default. You can choose to make this DC a read-only domain controller if you want. The default first site name should be selected for the site name unless you have created a new Active Directory site. I would recommend leaving it as the default. Enter a password for Directory Services Restore Mode. DSRM mode helps gain access to an environment if all domain administrator accounts lose access or in case of DC failure. DSRM allows an administrator to repair or recover an Active Directory database. After providing DSRM password, click Next. Since a DNS server role is also configured, you will be warned that a delegation for this DNS server cannot be created. This can be safely ignored. Click Next. On Additional Options page, choose where you want your DC to replicate from. Active Directory can replicate from any domain controller or a specific one. In my environment, I want it to be able to replicate from any domain controller. The replication depends on how you install the first DC and where it is located. If the DCs are all in the same site, then replicate from any will work. But if you have two domain controllers in your data center and installing additional domain controllers on branch office, then you probably want to replicate from the data center domain controller. In our example, only WS2022 Avon DC01 is a domain controller in our domain and it is in same Active Directory site. So I have set it to replicate from any domain controller. Click Next. On the Paths page, confirm the location for ADDS database files, log files and syswall. You can either use the default location or select another folder of your choice. Click Next. Review your selections in this screen and click Next. Windows will then perform a prerequisites check and inform us that whether we can promote this server as an additional domain controller in our existing Active Directory domain or not. Once it is done, click on Install to begin the installation. This wizard proceeds to promote this server to be an additional domain controller in our existing Active Directory domain. The installation takes a few moments to complete and progress is listed in the Operation Results box. Note any messages that might appear on the Progress section of the installation page. When the Results page appears, verify that the server was successfully promoted to a domain controller. The server will restart automatically to complete the installation process. The server was successfully configured as a domain controller and the server will restart automatically to complete the installation process. After reboot, sign into your server computer using the domain administrator's account. This server is now successfully added as an additional domain controller in our existing Active Directory domain. Upon login, 
the saw manager dashboard opens automatically on saw manager click on tools and select active directory users and computers expand domain name and click on domain controllers ou verify that both domain controllers are listed there ws2022 hyphen dc01 and ws2022 hyphen dc02 we can also confirm that both are in same active directory site the next step is that we need to configure the dns servers correctly on the both domain controllers the preferred dns server should always point to the other domain controller the alternate dns server must point to its own ip address or the loopback ip address 127.0.0.1 on ws2022 hyphen dc02 open run menu type ncpa.cpl and press enter key to open network connections go for the properties double click on ip version 4 preferred dns server's address is 172.1.8.72.50 this is the ip address of dc01 and alternate dns server's address is 127.0.0.1 click on okay again click on okay and close network connections go to ws2022 hyphen dc01 open run menu type ncpa.cpl and press enter key right click on ethernet adapter select properties double click on ip version 4 and here in preferred dns server's address i'm going to specify the ip address 172.1.8.72.51 and in alternate dns server's address i'm going to specify the loopback ip address 172.0.0.1 click okay click okay and close network connections window let's go back to our dc02 next we want to check if that there are no errors occurred during the replication for this we are going to use built in rap admin utility right click on start menu and select windows powershell admin type cmd delete rap admin slash sync all and press enter key let's run the same command on our dc01 rap admin slash sync all and press enter key at this moment we are receiving message the following server could not be reached uh, click on tools and open active directory sites and services expand sites expand default for site name expand servers expand a dc01 server click on ndds settings right click on ndds settings all task check replication topology click okay click on refresh now we have automatically generated link from our dc02 server we need to do the same for dc02 server as well all task check replication topology click okay click on refresh go back to windows powershell and run the same command we can see we don't have that error anymore now we can see the following replication is in progress we can also manually perform the replication from here as well let's right click on this link and select replicate now click okay we can also check the same for dc02 server as well click okay so we can confirm that both domain controllers can replicate with each other successfully we can also type command rap admin slash repl summary and press enter key to see the output of this command as we can see there were no errors during the replications we can run the same command on our dc02 server as well rap admin repl summary and press enter key same we don't have any error on this server as well adding a new domain controller to an existing domain is pretty straightforward as we have seen in this video make sure that you configure the dns servers correctly otherwise the replication will probably fail that's all for this video on how to add an additional domain controller in an existing active directory domain i hope you found this video helpful if you have any questions and suggestions regarding this video 
please let me know in the comment section thank you all for watching this video have a nice day